okay everyone's been asking for this verification um the auto verification on readybooks so um this page here if you're a foreign national and you obviously which most people are who are trying to apply for this um you have to use a different method to using the verification which you would know if you read it so on this one i found this page which i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave this page in the description because this page will take you straight to the form that you need to fill out so this form here is um like for foreign foreign nationals and it'll take you to this it'll take a little a couple of seconds to load and it'll give you the form so obviously you have to have an account first and then um so when you fill this first form out um so you add your name and when i added my name i tried to put my full name because i thought oh maybe it's gonna like the name has to match the uh, the ID, and then uh, here for uh, so so you put your date of birth in backwards, like whatever it is, yeah, like ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, like uh, backwards, and then the month, and then the year six digits. Um, so it'd be like ninety three, oh seven, twenty one, or something like that, yeah. And then uh, for this year, you just put uh, just put your one, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you could just tie it. You could likely just type out passport in English, I don't know. But um why you would want to be doing the out of verification if you can't really read Korean is beyond me. So then you put your country in, I've just typed it in Korean, but I suppose you could just type it in English as well. Although I just presume everything is in Korean so except my name, because I thought that the name would have to match up. So it actually gave me an error. So I had to put my regular I just put like the shorthand of my name like literally my name with no um last name or anything just my first name um and then uh the date that it's uh, due to which is like whatever's written on your passport or your id i presume you could use other id like a driver's license or anything that has your face and your name on it so then you need a scanned version of it and you can just add it into here and i had a problem where it was just saying um Oh, it's it's taking too long. Even though it's like it was like a two MB file, it was like oh, it's taking too long. L literally, give up. Not even halfway. Like literally two seconds. Um, I just uh, closed everything and reopened it, and it worked perfectly fine. So, um, once you've done this, uh, these two are just agreements to um all this stuff here. Um, and then when you've done that, it will take you to another page where it takes you to like an inquiry form, which. It, it's auto filled all this information in and then you just have to add a couple more information um, and it will just tell you that your name is like if it says your name is wrong just put your first name and then um, there was the one with the passport which I put like a hair where you one at first but then you can just put uh, your one and then it worked and then that's about it really and then it just takes you through and then it will take you to it will give you like a ticket on the next page I'm not going to click the ticket because um, I'll end up doxing myself because it's got all my information on there. Um, so that's why you do this. It sends off a ticket, and then if you have any problems, um, from what I know, uh, I've seen people do. So when you send a message to the support team, it will just auto translate it for them to Korean, and then when they send you a message, you can have it so that the message auto translate to English for you anyway. So you can actually like communicate with um, like the support team and like whatever you need to. So it's it's pretty simple, but I I actually tried to do it the other way, and then I realized like I was like, hold on, this is not for like foreign people, is it? And then I ended up finding the page that I will leave in the link below, and then you can all go read your adult literature in peace. All right, hopefully that's helped everyone out, and uh, if there's anything else that anyone needs, then let me know.